Welcome to our home gym. All right, so I guess we're gonna start off with the rack. Uh, Woo! So first off on the rack, we have the Rogue 45 pound Ohio bar. It's nice, we got it in matte black. It has the Rogue logo. We got the Monster Squat Rack from Rogue to do pretty much everything. Squat, we deadlift, do pull-ups, bench. Everything you can think of, you can figure out. You can figure out a way to do it on this. So the thing we like about it is that it's actually really, really sturdy. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about it wobbling. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's sturdy. It, it's really sturdy. I didn't have to bolt this into the ground and you can see it, it has its own platform. So that's a plus. This area is pretty level, but it's slightly like this. You can get actually plywood and shim it to be perfectly level. That's something I'm going to do later on. But right now it works for what we use it for and we enjoy it a lot. This is the new bench, the 3.0 I think is what it's called. And it comes with the, the decline section for your feet. You can hook it up to that if we needed to. But this bench right here, you can go from flat bench all the way up, 90 degrees. You know, you're doing your shoulder press, incline press, whatever you're doing. You can also adjust the butt seat for whatever versatile. reason you want to do it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty versatile. Well, hello. <laughs> got our gym buddies. Lady and Ash. We also got these rogue aluminum collars in black. And we've been using these for about a month now and they hold tight. They're really good. Very strong. Collars, you don't have to worry about the plates loosening up. Here's it up close, just to show you what it looks like. We decided to go with the steel Rogue Olympic weights. These are precision cut and made, so they're gonna be dialed right to 45. And everything we bought, we wanted to buy everything American made, so every single thing in our gym is, uh, is American made. Made in the USA. Except for, I don't know if the, the concept is, but I think everything else is for sure made in the USA. Okay. So we have six 45 plates, two 35s, two 25s, two 10s. We're still waiting on two fives, and then we're gonna get a couple more plates for, you know, looking heavier. But that's what we have right now, and that's what we use for our working weights, and that's what works with us. We work out three days a week, rest one day, work out three days a week, rest another day. And so, it's rest day, so we're giving you a tour so of our home gym in the desert. So this is the belt we use. It is the Rogue Lever Belt. Uh, this is really nice. I mean, you gotta get used to it, but this definitely holds you in and will protect you looking in. Lifting those heavy weights. Want to demonstrate? <laughs> so you, so you got to kind of work these holes out when you first get them. But put it on like this. And then you'll snap, snap it back. Holds everything in tight. Let me see the back. I want to see the logo. It's really, really well made. Yeah, I mean, it's heavy duty. And that's made in the USA too. Right. Take it off. <laughs> I made this handy dandy little chalk box. You know, move our hands when we're deadlifting, whatever, you know. We used a so, rogue box that we got from um, our shipment. <laughs> yeah, so speaking of deadlifting, one of the downsides of these steel weights is you can't slam them on the ground, obviously. We yeah, but we knew that prior right. to buying them. Right, so we got the Crash Christians. These are our Crash Christians. From Rogue as and, well. It pretty much takes like six inches away from your deadlift, but you still get a good deadlift workout. We are planning on getting bumper plates. Just right now, we wanted to go with steel plates, and we really enjoy the steel plates right now. They are a little bit louder, but the neighbors don't complain. So we got our foam roller right here. It's pretty nice. This. This is a basic Amazon uh, foam roller. <laughs> foam roller. And then we got our row machine, which we ordered off of Rogue as well. Yes. This is a concept Rogue machine. This right here is a good workout. We have a couple of Rogue dumbbells. We have the 35s and we have 15s right now on set. We're planning on getting more, but we just started off with that. We have the knees over toes guys. Mark Bell's edition slant board. This is my favorite little thing mm -hmm. for you know, working them knees, getting a good squat. To my other most favorite thing to do, I'm breathing a little hard because right, we live in Arizona and it's like 100 hot. degrees outside in our garage. During the day when we're working out, it is like probably what, 120 in here? Yeah. It's hot. 
So, but we work out in that heat because I think it's good to push your body and work out in like difficult scenarios, I guess. Mm -hmm. So this is my other favorite workout right here. I have two 20 pound plates in the one in the front, one in the back. This is my flak, my training flak. I go on three mile runs with these. I do squats with these. You can do a lot of things with this. Pull ups. You got wrist straps, knee sleeves, yoga mats, I'm stretching. <laughs> Although I don't need to use my knee sleeves anymore. But that's like one of the first things. I've had those knee sleeves for about 10 years actually now. That's crazy. So I've kept the same stuff. And these have lasted I me. Mean, these are actually from Barbell Great Brigade. This is when I very first started lifting. Kept everything from those times. This is our, my workbench slash <laughs> we write the workout of the day, what we're doing. I have some guidelines. I like to keep everything organized. Like, Make sure I know I'm pushing myself to grow, not just to just do a random workout, have a game plan. Yeah, our gym is half gym, half garage slash motorcycle workshop slash. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, Lame. This is what keeps us somewhat cool in our 120 degree garage. It's 100% worth it to have your own gym. You could probably pay like, what, 10 bucks a month for like the cheapest gym. But for us, we gotta drive an hour to go to the gym, pay for that gym membership, drive back. For me, too much people drains my energy. And every time I go to the gym, for some reason, there's too many people. It's overcrowded. You can't get to work out what you want to work out. Yeah. When I'm working out at home and I have all the capabilities, if I wake up late for some reason and miss my workout, I can come back home <laughs> after work, go do my the rest of my workout. I have it here and it's there and readily available to me. And it's worth the money for sure. Yeah, and then I was gonna say we also keep each other accountable because I work out with him and I do the same workouts. These are the Monster Spotter Safety Arms. These are nice. So obviously me and my wife lift them together. My wife can't spot me mm -hmm. the weight that I am gonna be pressing or doing. So I have this so I don't get injured. So if I need to drop the weight, I can drop it on that. That is definitely a must in a, a building a garage gym. You know, trying to get better, you don't want to get hurt because then it's just going to prolong your progress for sure. I love these things. I can slam weight. I can stand on them. Serena, she climbs up here to grab one full of ball and everything. No problem. It's strong. A lot of people don't do this and a lot of people do it. So I did this for Serena. I put extra tape on there because, you know, our hands weren't doing well on it. So this gives her a little bit more grip. We want to get a plate holder so we can not have to bend down and hold them as much. Or hold the plates on the ground as much. We slowly build it. I mean, we saved a little while for this and then we just went for it. So I mean, it's doable. Just have a goal. Like, hey, this is what I want. And, <laughs> yeah. and then get it when you can. Yeah, that just about sums up the gym. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like it, send it to a friend. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you.